Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I safely remove the shedded hair and detangle grandma's natural hair for length retention. This I needed to pay keen attention to because this is a key in her length retention regimen apart from the treatments that I've been doing. How you handle the hair with care to protect it from breakage has a lot to do with how much growth and length that you see in the end. So if you guys missed part one of this video where I shampooed, deep conditioned her hair and take down her protective style that she had in for six weeks, you definitely could go back to this playlist and also I'll link it at the end of this video along with part three where I will be blowing, moisturizing and blow drying her hair to stretch it to do the the protective style sorry guys right so my name is samantha by the way if you are new to this channel welcome to new growth naturals i'm samantha i'm a natural hair specialist i specialize in natural hair care natural hair styles and also i'm a licensed hair loss practitioner so i treat persons with alopecia guys so send me an email at newgrowthnaturals at gmail.com if you have alopecia issues and you want to do an online consultation also follow me on facebook instagram tiktok as new growth naturals for more information so i remove her plastic cap and i'm now stretching her hair doing my finger detangling this is important guys because your fingers can feel the knot when you have a protective style for a while, especially she usually keep her protective style for six months to two months at a time. When she has a protective style that long, her shedded hair accumulates a lot in the protective style. Now, on average, you lose 80 to 150 strands per day. And if you're losing that much hair per day over the period of six weeks, you should relatively have a lot of dead hair in that, in that hair. Throughout every stage of taking down her hair, washing her hair, deep conditioning her hair, detangling her hair, my attempt has always been to remove as much shedded hair as possible throughout the process. And this is simply because the more shedded hair you're able to remove, even before the shampoo process, is the less tangled the hair will get. But there will always be some left in there after the deep conditioning process. I use the opportunity to remove this shedded hair after deep conditioning because this deep conditioning product makes the hair really soft, moisturized, and hydrated. And that's exactly what I want. I want the hair to be soft and silky so I can go through and remove the shedded hair easily without causing any breakage so once i've used my fingers to detangle the hair i'm just going to go through with my shampoo deep um, detangling comb this comb has very fine teeth to begin with in terms of at the edge the tips of the teeth they're pointy and it is just as the size of the regular white tooth comb it allows the the, the teeth to go through the hair without causing any extra tension on the hair if you understand what i mean so once i'm done with that i'm just going to twist it away notice after i finger detangle once i went in with the comb i started at the ends of her hair and i gently worked my way up anytime i felt that there was a knot i stopped combing and i used my fingers to take the knots out and this is critical guys sometimes during the shampoo process we get frustrated especially when there was a lot of knots and lots of tangles in the hair if you're tired and frustrated my love put away the comb put away your fingers put on back that plastic cap to keep the moisture in your strand go find something to do go rest do something but do not handle your hair at that time get somebody to help that will be gentle with your hair even because it can take you two to three months to grow a certain amount of hair it takes like two months to grow an inch of hair for most people and that frustration can break up to six months worth of hair and even more. Hence why you're not retaining length. Hence why you think your hair is not growing as fast as others. It's breaking even faster than how it is growing love. So if you feel frustrated while doing this, stop. Take a rest. Take a breather. Put on this video. Watch back this video and take your time and go through. You, you got this girl. Once more, I'm demonstrating what I do. I'm gently picking out the knots, keeping her hair stretched because once you're keeping the hair stretched while doing this, you are not creating more tangles and also it helps with the detangling process. Once you're finished or you've 
remove most of the, the, the knots that you see there or most of the hair that is sticking on itself, you can go through with a comb. So I'm showing this to you in real time. I've not slowed this video down and I've not sped it up. This is real time detangling for me. But on the other side, I'll definitely speed it up in attempt to not make this video too long. Once I'm done with finger detangling, I'm starting at the ends and I'm working my way up in grandma's hair. Once I feel a knot, or feel like the comb is stuck in on something, I'm just going to put that comb aside, go through with my fingers, feel for the knot, pull it to the side with both fingers to each or to opposite side to remove the, the, the shedded hair and to untangle the hair like what I'm doing right now. I hope you guys can see clearly and get that. And this, I really want you to get this technique because a lot of persons have been asking, how did I get her hair to grow all so fast? Most of my clients that I do this for, without a shadow of a doubt, they retain more length. I realize my clients that do this for themselves most of the time, they don't have as much length retention. And I just know what happened. During the takedown, shampoo process, and detangling process, they tend to handle their hair rougher. They don't have the patience to deal with it, so they break off the length. They break off the length that they should be retaining. My clients that come to me for takedown, wash, deep condition, detangling, and restyling do not have that issue. They see greater length retention. Sure, it is more expensive because it's a service that you have to pay for. But if you plan to do this at home, like if you can't afford this service, that's why I'm doing this video for you. Or if you're in another country where you can't reach me or you can't go to a salon or you don't have any natural hairstylists around, I am teaching you baby steps, what you can do. And guys, once you follow through with this, I am telling you without a shadow of a doubt, your hair will become longer because your length will be there. You won't be breaking it off. Here's also another important thing that I want you guys to note. If after your, your deep conditioner, your hair feels hard, do not attempt to detangle. Sometimes deep conditioners have protein in them. And if your hair is protein sensitive, that will make your hair hard. Make sure that you follow through with a moisturizing conditioner. Wash that product out. Follow through with a moisturizing conditioner or something moisturizing or a moisturizing hair mask whatever it is that's going to get your hair soft and silky after deep conditioning it wash that product out put that product on and once your hair feels soft you go in and you do your deep detangling if the hair is hard and dry and coarse after deep conditioners and you attempt to do any form of detangling love you're gonna break the hair off that's not the best thing to do <laughs> So guys, if you're also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, follow me at New Growth Naturals across every platform. Let me know that you are following me from my YouTube channel. Definitely send me a message or something, but I'd appreciate to see you guys there on those platforms as well. If you have any question about grandma's hair, about your hair, drop it below. I'll definitely be in the comment section to respond. Also, if you have any concern about your hair at all, join us on our live streams. Whenever I go live, I talk in real time once I'm styling a client's hair or anything like that to, to clients all over the world about their hair. So if you have a question, you can super chat me or you can just type your question in the, our live chat and get a live response once you join us on our live stream. This side of her hair was already finger detangled. I did it to save time on this video. So I'm just going through with the deep con sorry, detangling comb. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> and just removing any excesses shedded hair and clearing it out real smooth because I'll be blow drying her hair afterwards and I'll be using a attachment comb on that blow dryer so i want to make sure that all the knots are out and i'm making sure that i remove as much shedded hair as i possibly could so this is what i'm doing and at the end i'll definitely show you each time what i'm removing from her hair
Once I'm finished detangling, I do not remove the twist that I put in there. I'm just going to go in and wash out the deep conditioner and hot oil treatment that I previously used on her hair in part one of this video thoroughly. And then I'm going to do my moisturize and blow dry routine on her natural hair. So stay tuned for that video. I'll definitely be posting it in a few hours or a few days. <laughs> But I'll link it to the end of this one guys if you have missed the first part of this video I'm going to also link it to the end of this video so you can watch Thank you guys for coming here to watch. I hope you learned something. These videos are for educational purposes. I'm a very busy woman, but I understand that you need practical examples and practical You know regimen and routine to follow and so I am doing this and I'm taking my time to do it to make sure that you can follow through with the step, hence why I'm doing the videos in parts. I don't want it to be too long where you can't follow through each step or where you can't search for a specific step to do in your routine. Thanks guys for watching. Remember, Jesus loves you, so be very good. Bye. I saw that you were there.